historic day such as this. Um, going forward, may I invite um, a special guest on today's lecture, um, distinguished Senator Dr. Tony Moye, to uh, make a comment. He has promised to keep it short, and now the timing is excellent. Um, the distinguished Senator. Please an applause for the great life. Thank you very much. Our dear Vice Chancellor, Professor Igwe, the former Vice Chancellor who turned 70, my mentor, my boss, my benefactor, uh, Professor Ozuba Benjamin, the Jam Registrar who was our keynote speaker and lecturer for today's event, Professor Ishaq the Deputy Vice Chancellors present, the academicians, the non-academicians, the Archbishop Emeritus of American Communion, His Grace, Archbishop Chubu. Mine, it should be a very simple one. As in Jerusalem, my name is Dr. Tony Mui. I don't want to bug you because Professor Isha Kolumide has captured it all. I'm standing here today not as a politician, not as a senator of federal Republic of Nigeria, but as somebody who was one time in Orum 109 in Sakaeta Hall. I'm so happy to say that. I'm standing here today to see that also Benjamin Uzumba influenced my life a lot and others because he kept on inspiring us, he kept on advising us. The greatest thing, just like I said, I don't want to repeat myself in the Vice Chancellor's office in the morning, was he was instrumental in terms of advice for me to become a medical doctor. And the resolution with that medical doctor I became, incidentally, I did not graduate from the University of Nigeria. But he kept on saying, if it's the Boy State University, if it's the University of Nigeria, you have to be a medical doctor. I thank God for his inspiration and became a medical doctor. Well, I listen attentively to your well thoughts piece as it concerns this university autonomy address. Prof, I want to thank you so much. Uh, if you remember or recall, I met you in 2004 in University of Eloray, when we were deputy vice chancellor. When some of the students were protesting, I came to lead their protest. We are deputy vice chancellor there. I was a student of University of Nigeria, a local campus there. Hey, Prof, we have a problem in this university. That is why I even chose to make a speech, because I have made a speech in the morning. The University of Nigeria needs a special funding. The University of Nigeria needs to be declared state of emergency. There should be a state of emergency in terms of funding. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. In going back to Abuja, you know there was something to be said. I don't want to go there. But you should know, sir that the problem of Nigeria is corruption. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Incidentally, some of the academics, some of the politicians, the judiciary, some of them, are the bedrock of this corruption. But the only thing we should know that vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Pro, please, today, whether we like it or not, the president of Nigeria is President Ahmed Bola Timibu. You have to put your words. You have to put your feet down. He is your brother. To go and tell him that the war is over, election is over. <laughs> University of Nigeria and Igbos, because this is, you can't talk of Igbo nation without talking of University of Nigeria. You can't talk of Nigeria without talking about Igbo nation. Whether anybody likes it or not. I don't want to sound political. I'm talking now as an activist, which I was. This 
University. Incidentally, your own brother who was or who is my very high respected senior colleague, Senator Adiola Olaginobi Yai, is currently the chairman, Senate oh. Committee on Education. He's from Open State, we are from Open State. Mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> University of Nigeria needs minimum of 20 billion naira in the next few months. Yeah. And we can make it happen. I have a role. Senator Badio has a role, has a role because he's a wine law. There is a hall here named after his uncle, Abadio Hall. I think I'm correct. So, bro, this, in as much I'm thanking you for coming, you took pain to come. I didn't know you make it. I saw your lot as the University of Oyelekiti a few months ago in the convocation program. Please help us to appeal to our president. I appeal to Senator Adiola. I will come by way of pressure in the Senate, in the government agencies for the University of Nigeria to begin the challenge. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.